A good God morning to each and every one of you today. Family, you know, Psalm 45 verse 7 says, You love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions. The Passion Translation says He has anointed you more than any other with His oil of fervent joy, the very fragrance of heaven's gladness. Wow. That's a powerful. Thank goodness God didn't anoint us with madness and sadness this and morning. Badness. And badness. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> but you know, babe, one of the outward signs of somebody being born again, being a child of God, is joy and being happy and gladness. And, you know, that joy, that happiness, that merriment is not contingent on anything happening around about you, but actually everything to do with what has happened and continues to happen on the inside of you. And you know how that happens? You know, if you use the acronym for joy, yeah. okay, when you put the J can stand for Jesus and then the O for others and then yourself. You know, when you always put Jesus first, first. you put others next and yourself, um, you know, you'll always have joy. joy. Yeah. And I've got my joy, but you need to get your joy. But the truth of the matter is that we live in a very sad and dreary world. Right. So much negativity. And we are continually bombarded with negativity and, and wickedness and darkness and gloominess and chaos. And you know, if we give into that, we will eventually walk around feeling sad, depressed, down, discouraged, you know, and gloomy. But we are here to remind you today yes. that the Holy Spirit has anointed you with heaven's oil and it's the oil of gladness and joy. Yeah. And, and you know, I think about heaven uh, a, a lot of the times. I don't know if, if you do, but I, I think about heaven a lot of times. And, and heaven is a place that is marked by great joy and gladness. Well, the Bible says that God sits in the heavens and he laughs. Does. Absolutely. You know, a lot of times people Absolutely. think that he he's sits a laughing up there God. and he's as mad as yeah. anything and he just wants to, you know, exactly. shoot everyone with lightning bolts and hit them on the head. No, but, there's joy. But our Father's happy. Yeah. He's a happy God. Absolutely. Amen. And you know, the, the, over the course of history and time, uh, people have tried to raise the dead back to life and there have been those that have come back to life. But for the yes. most part, uh, a lot of them haven't come back to life. <laughs> and it's not because our faith isn't working and not because we don't believe in the supernatural, but I think it's probably because those dead people, why would they want to leave the gladness of heaven that's to right. come down to the gloominess that's on this earth? And Paul says in Ephesians 5 and verse 18, and do not be drunk with wine in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit. That's right. Speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart. That's right. You and know so, that scripture, it's interesting that Paul writes how the Holy Spirit, it says, be not drunk with wine and how he likens wine to the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And you think, I wonder why he, he likens it to the Holy Spirit. And I believe it's because, you know, I don't know if you've ever seen somebody who's inebriated. Um, they always speaking loudly, you know, they speak loud and you know, telling everybody and they're the loudest everywhere. And there's a lot of laughter lot and of merriment laughter. and joy. They're always happy. And you know what the other thing is? A lot of generosity. They're buying everybody rounds. Everything. This round is on Everything. me. This round is on they me. They give to everybody. <laughs> the other thing is, do you know that the Holy Spirit, when you're happy and when He's inside you, comforting you, He changes the way you see. Have mm. you ever seen drunk people? They're always looking like this, you know? Yeah, because they... Because they can't see properly. Well, because the Holy Spirit changes wants your to, perspective. Changes your perspective. Wow. wow. The way that you see things. So that's why, because I mean, that's a, a very that's funny analogy yeah. to use Between in wine scripture. and the Holy Spirit. Yes. But I mean, if you think physically and medically about the benefits of laughter and of being joyful and merriment. So so physically, when you laugh, your body releases a whole lot of endorphins. endorphins yeah. And those endorphins are actually 
brilliant for your body. It reduces your blood pressure. It stabilizes your heart rate. Um, it reduces um, cholesterol, uh, diabetes, uh, also ulcers that might want to form in the, in the stomach. Laughter and being full of joy and full of laughter does you a whole good lot trust. of good. So we want to encourage you today, all right? That's right, Don't the know. Bible says the joy of the Lord is your strength today. That's Let right. it be your strength. That's right. But look at what Proverbs 17 and 22 says, all right? Uh, it says, a merry heart does good like medicine, That's right. but a broken spirit dries the bones. Mm. And so, you know, I want to ask you this question. Have you taken your medicine today? There are a lot of people that have to take medication, whether it's for high blood pressure, for cholesterol, for diabetes, whatever it is. But I want to ask you, have you taken your medication? You say, well, what medication is that? Well, it's being continually filled with the Holy Spirit, being continually filled with the Holy Spirit. So we want to just encourage you today. You know, uh, there's a lot of uh, oils that you can buy mm. today, essential oil and even CBD oil as well. You might have heard of that, but we want you to know that there's the oil of gladness, the oil That's of right. joy. And so until next time, we want to tell you that we love you and, and remember, remember, we, we never, never look back, back but, but always, always keep, keep moving, moving forward. Bye-bye.